There are seven seals, Elijah said, go again seven times, and at the seventh time, Elijah's servant said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea, then the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things of thy word. On the opening of the seventh seal, there will be silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. The Lord will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and will return their lands, with peace. He is Yahweh, Allah, the Most High. His bounty is great. He is exalted in might. He will complete his light. Let heaven and earth declare the praises of his glory. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. My dogs were poisoned, two of my brothers and a niece are dead. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral playing conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not have conversations with you all day. That's a human, pretending to be a deity, on the astral plane, but it's really a human, who can, and will, hurt you, who is evil enough to pretend to be God. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practice genocide against Jews, Africans, Muslims, Native Americans, Mexicans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane, stay in God's word. The scriptures say, those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah, and then do not follow up what they spent with reminders of their generosity or with insults, will have their reward with their Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. 